Bald caps are a great addition for makeups, but if you want ones that blend well into the skin, they can really start to break the bank. So today, we're gonna talk about how you can make them yourself at home using a Krylon redhead. This great little investment is gonna save you a lot of money down the line. We're also gonna get into how to fix tears or holes in your bald cap. Now I buy my latex by the gallon. This is balloon latex, which tends to be stronger and more elastic. Using a makeup sponge, going around and stippling the first two layers. This is gonna be the largest surface area. The third layer, apply it further back, leaving about an inch of edge from the other layers. This will build up the bald cap and keep those nice thin edges. Final layer, I do like to reinforce the top of the head since it's where a lot of the tension is when you're applying the bald cap. Now that it's all dry, wanna make sure those nice thin edges don't fold on themselves. Powder the outside, start to peel an edge up from one of the lower corners. Then push a powder brush under the bald cap. Work your way around the edges. Keep going back for more powder and using the brush to carefully pull up the latex. Once the edges are released all the way around, you can start to pull the piece away from the head in sections powdering as you go. You don't want any unpowdered latex to touch itself. It will stick and you may find yourself unable to carefully pull it apart. This is why I'm working with a lot of powder. Everything ends up getting some sort of coating. So even as I pull it off, you can see some of it did stick together, but there was still a bit of powder on it. So I was able to lightly pull it apart. I do prefer to make very thin bald caps. If you find that you like yours thicker for reusing, by all means, apply more layers. I just like dramatic cap removal videos. Use your choice of adhesive to get the edges down. Starting from the forehead and work your way on either side and lightly stretch the cap as you go. I'm gonna stop it at the ears. A little trick, add some glue to the neck. Then tilt your head back and pull the piece to smooth the cap and press it into the glue. Once your head is back into a neutral position, it has a slight tension on it to help keep the cap from wrinkling. Now finish gluing the rest down and trim the excess away. Now for those ears. This method, you're gonna want these types of scissors. Keeps you from stabbing yourself or a model. You can cut a hole in the center of the ear and create a small line, smaller than the actual length of the ear, and carefully pull the ear through. If there's too much tension on the earlobe or extra material in the front, just go ahead and trim it away. Then glue the cap all the way around the ear. Not adhering the back may lead to the cap applying unwanted pressure to the ear cartilage. Dip a latex over the edge to blend it in and powder. Let's go into repairs. Maybe you made a bald cap a little too thin or tore it around the ears. Brainlessly put some hair oil on, decided to start a makeup, and it started to eat holes into the bald cap as you were in the middle of it, like me. Here's a few ways to make repairs. Remember when we cut the excess from the bald cap? It's great to keep that handy for fixes. You can trim a small piece larger than the hole. Another way is to use some paper tape. Tear a piece and stick it over top. Here's both versions. With either one, once the hole or tear is covered, stipple over it with a few layers of latex and blend it in. After it's dry, color is desired. I did a quick and dirty paint job so you can see the repair area, just so you get the idea. Didn't go into how to paint the bald cap. There's a lot more in discuss and that really should be its own video. Hope this video was handy.